Tor. Tornado warning, Grundy Livingston LaSalle. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for North Central Livingston County in Central Illinois, East Central LaSalle County, Southern Grundy County in Northeastern Illinois until 12.30 p.m. At 11.44 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Cornell, or 10 miles southeast of Streeter, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. What now? SPC, severe potential loss probability, 60%. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Any damage is likely. Locations and passes include Dwight, Maldon, and Gardner. Including the following interstates, I-55 between mile markers 212 and 227. Take cover now. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.30 p.m. for the following county, LaSalle, Illinois. Tornado warning. How about that? The tour for Cook. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a tornado warning for East Central Cook County in northeastern Illinois until 12 15 p.m. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. At 11 49 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over East Garfield Park or over West Town, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard tornado. Source. Radar indicated location. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Chicago might be in this one. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Lincoln Park, Navy Pier, and near north side around 11. Navy Pier, no way. Lakeview, uptown, and catch water around noon. This includes Lincoln Park Zoo, Hawthorne Park, Soldier Field, University of Illinois, It includes Soldier Field! Field, Museum Campus, and Northerly Island. Including the following interstates. Interstate 55 between mile markers 285. This, it includes Lakeshore Drive, too. And it's got a bullcrap new name, but I'm, I'll still call it Lakeshore Drive. Interstate 290 between mile markers 19 and 29. Interstate 294 between mile markers 44 and 55. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors or in a vehicle, move to the closest Never potential Never heard that word in. Protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. If an FFW is Do issued. Do not your vehicle. Well, what the hell? Well, it's done. Marine warning, Calumet Harbor to Gary, Indiana. So we got quite a few here. In retirement. Well, it's time to get serious, as many of you have yeah, reached I guess out. I, what, I guess. Oh, never mind. They're doing it. The yes, they are. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Will County in northeastern Illinois. Southeastern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, Northern Lake County in northwestern Indiana, until 2 p.m. At 1.26 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from East Chicago to Fort Heights to near Beecher, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gust. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Hammond, Gary, Calumet City, Merrillville, Chicago Heights, East Chicago, Shearville, Hobart, Lansing, Crown Point, Harvey, Highland, Munster, Dolphin, Park Forest, Homewood, Madison, Steger, Piotone, and South Holland. This includes Indiana University Northwest, Purdue University Northwest Hammond, Governor State University, Ileana Motor Speedway, Prairie State College, and South Shore Rail Cats Baseball. A tornado watch remains in effect until 7 p.m. for northeastern Illinois and northwestern Indiana. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Realize could go as high as you know 10 percent. 
live that I'm forced to take out, which just pushes me into a higher and higher. They actually did it, guys. They actually relayed a severe thunderstorm warning for Will Cook and Lake. Can someone please explain to me why WLS is so inconsistent? Yeah, WLS is the most inconsistent station of all time. I swear to God when I say that. Alright, so let me go get my tripod again. Which was just sitting over here. That is, this is what it was sitting on. This is why the shot was still still. You can thank this tripod. Um, it's time to add this to my log. EAS number 171. June 6th. Oh, geez. No, I can't type today. Oh my god, I could not type today. Um, it went um, Will, and then Cook in Illinois, and then Lake in Indiana. Um, I didn't think they'd actually relay it. They did. That's shocking. Come on. Yes! 560! Tornado warning! Ten fifty hertz. There goes 1050 hertz again. Are they getting it from different... What is this overlay that I'm hearing? There goes 1050 hertz again. 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 <laughs> Am I hearing 1050 hertz again? WIND's relaying. What? Expired the Kankakee tornado warning. Thank God. After all that, I got my first alert on WIND AM.